at least once a year, I like to bring in some of my Kevin's famous chili. The trick is to undercook the onions. Everybody is going to get to know each other in the pot. Now, I'm serious about this stuff. I'm up the night before, pressing garlic and dicing whole tomatoes. I toast my own ancho chilies. It's a recipe passed down from Malone's for generations. It's probably the thing I do best. It's six. Come on. You are right after this commercial, Mr. Bloomer. You can do this. Mr. Blue Man! You couldn't tell me my feet stink. You don't even have feet, Blue Man! Blue Man, where your feet at? This is home to Late Night with Conan O'Brien. <laughs> Excuse me. This is a page coming through. I'm sorry. Let me just let him. Let him through! Mm -mm. No! Just talk to him. Here it is! from his numerous hit movies, including President, Homeboy, and Hunk and Grandma Be Trippin'. Or you may know him from his last appearance on this show when he tried to stab me in the face. Okay, gotta go, excuse me, Tracy. Please welcome Tracy Jordan. You know, you really went above and beyond for that guy today. I just hope we get away with it. I'm a little long. No, don't, don't, don't do that. Pants on, pants on. Okay, sit in the chair, buddy, sit in the chair. Yeah, sit sit down. down, sit. Oh, don't sit down. Oh, <laughs> hey, attaboy. This thing is so awesome. It will shred anything. Ooh. It will shred a CD. It will shred a credit card. It'll shred oh shit. I just gotta get to the hospital and wait there. Taxi! Sir, I don't have any money, but I need to get to Mount Sinai Hospital. No problem, hop in. Wow, it's like I always say, white cab drivers are weird. Cash Cab, it's a TV game show that takes place right here in my taxi. Explain the rules. You answer trivia questions for money and a free ride. But if you answer incorrectly, the game is over and you're out of the cab. So for me to be there at the birth of my daughter, I have to answer trivia questions despite having gone to middle school in the Exxon station? Yeah. You ready to play? Bring it. A gift from France to the United States, the Statue of Liberty was completed in what year? Come on, I don't know that. You've got 15 seconds or so you're out of the cab. OK. I remember going to the Statue of Liberty Centennial because that year someone had spread a rumor that she was going to slip out of her toga and I wanted to see some green boobies. And the Mets had just won the World Series because that night I was randomly attacked by a Mets fan that I had through a pot at. That was 1986. And Centennial is 100 years because centipede means having sex with 100 women. I got it. 1886. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Weighing up to four tons, what type of mammal is the famous Shamu? She is an orca, Benjamin. FYI, they're very difficult to keep in a home aquarium. Right again. The Lazy Susan was invented by Thomas Jefferson. 
I know, because I'm a descendant of Thomas Jefferson and Lazy Susan herself. The capital of the United Arab Emirates is Abu Dhabi. I know that because if I go back there, I'll be executed. There are 12 tones in the chromatic scale. I know that because I'm a musical genius. Congratulations, we're here. Tracy, you made it. Tracy Jordan, hero, husband, diabetic slash alcoholic. Yes! Hold on, let me unlock it for you. Am I pulling it right? Just let go of the okay. handle. You can't, it's still not opening. It's not pulling it. I'm so trying to pull it. You keep saying pull it. Tracy, I'm going pull. pulling on it while I'm hitting the button. What do you want me to do? You're yelling at me. I'm going to make it better. It's not going to unlock it. It ain't going to open. Stop I'm pulling it. it that's Kevin. On the drums. What? On the drums. Oh on the drums. Oh, my God. That's Kevin. <laughs> Great song, Kev. Oh, my God. He's the drummer and the singer. We really don't do a lot of weddings. We actually don't play in public very often. We are all really hoping that Pam's wedding works out. This could be a turning point for the band. Wow. Oh! Oh my! Yeah, you haven't seen that since 1983. <laughs> but then he scores a basket even though he's not a wolf anymore. We're here with Tracy Jordan, who just recounted, by the way, the entire plot of the movie Teen Wolf. Please hold. Andy, phone call. Nope, stay there. Kev, I thought we nailed the whole transfer thing earlier. Yeah, I wrote it on my hand, but then I washed it. It is transfer, extension, and then transfer again. Okay, Andy, get ready. Transfer. Here we go. Extension, transfer. Ugh. Ah! Oh, man. It is one, three, four. Kev. Kev, come on. Hustle. You hold are Kevin. murdering the Nardos. This is Kevin. Please hold, and I will transfer you. You're bad at this, Just too. Don't answer that call. Just transfer the damn call. Your call is very important to us. Please. Hey! Oh! Okay. Hey! okay. Oh! Way Andy to go. My maid died. Shh. Please keep your voices down. Mr. Jordan is a little hungover. He pulled an Uncle Harlem parcel last night, minus the wistful jug blowing. I went out with the interns. Those white boys are not kidding around. Have you ever tasted scotch? It's terrible. And this thing they call box seats at the Rangers game? It's so cold. And what is your hypnol? Tracy, those are roofies. So I shouldn't have taken two of them for my headache? There he is. Tonight, shooters at Blockheads lay a base and meet up with my brohams at the Cornell Club. Hey, you know it, bro, man. Hey. I have no idea what either one of us just said. Well, he thinks you're going out again. You gotta tell him you can. I have a rep to maintain. If I can't keep up with a bunch of Wall Street frat boys... Uh-oh. Here come the roofies. You can do whatever you want to me. Let's go over some of these symptoms of marijuana use, shall we? You tell me who this sounds like. Slow moving. Inattentive. Dull. Constantly snacking shows a lack of motivation. Hey. Tracy, I hope you know how much we value you here at TGS. I like to think of this staff as a family. This is better than a family. No one around here asks me for my damn bone marrow. Well, why don't we make this easy on ourselves and renew your existing contract with a 3% increase? Okay. Sorry it took me so long to answer. I was just thinking about how weird it is that we eat birds. All right, uh, we have a deal. You see how easy negotiating can be when it's not really about money. How is this really not about money? Well, obviously you don't need to work. What's that now, Charles? I'm just saying you made $300 million last year, so there's no financial need for you to continue with the show. But I never thought of it like that. Thank you. I quit. Goodbye. Uh, uh, Tracy, had he really not put that together? What an awesome party. The best wedding I've ever been to. I got six numbers. One more would have been a complete telephone number. This was epic. My Kleenex shoes were a huge conversation piece, but man, my dogs are barking. My feet were so sweaty, I can't even feel the cold. 